When summer rolls around, many of us, myself included, get a haircut or change up our looks because, well, it's summer. When a politician does it, though, people start to ask questions. So when Conservative Party leader Pierre Polyev ditched his glasses and tie a couple of weeks ago, it had many wondering if this was a summer look or the rebranding of a politician. Bonjour tout le monde. Merci d'être venu aujourd'hui. When Pierre Polyev met the media last week in Halifax, he had a decidedly more casual look. The shirt and tie were gone, as were his trademark glasses. But it wasn't just his look that seemed relaxed. The parliamentary budget officer says that the companies, that Trudeau is going to allow the companies to pass all the costs on to consumers. And why hasn't Trudeau stopped them? Compare that to just six months ago, when he was riling up his caucus on Parliament Hill. Everything feels broken. Oh, I just offended Justin Trudeau. He gets very angry when I talk about these problems. He thinks that if we don't speak about them out loud, that Canadians will forget that they exist. And outside the House of Commons... Are you, are you serious? Nana? I'm asking you a oh, question. I mean, are you serious? Come on. You're telling me... No, excuse me. Let, let me answer your question. Are you honestly saying that it's society's fault... According to the Toronto Star, Polyev's change in tone and look is part of a larger effort to make him more likable to more voters. Polls have shown he is slipping when it comes to who people prefer to lead this country. <laughs> Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has a number of looks he cycles through to connect to voters. The sleeves rolled up look is a staple in the more casual setting. During COVID, he grew a beard but shaved it before the election. And then last summer, he got a haircut, which got mixed reviews. It's a time-tested practice in politics. Change how your leader looks and hope it changes how people see them. Okay, time for our opening arguments. There's Deirdre, there is Dan. So, Dan, do you think that this is a distinct shift in Polyev's style here? It's certainly a distinctive shift in his outward style, yeah. Um, but with the T-shirt, the new haircut, and he's going glasses, it almost, uh, he's ditched the glasses. It's almost like he's trying to look a little like Justin Trudeau. Um, but to be honest, I think it's completely embarrassing. Okay, we're going to dig into that in just a second. Deirdre, what do you think about this shift? Or do you think that it is a conscientious effort there to make sure that they are presenting him differently? Oh, absolutely. He needs an image overhaul. And but not for the I don't think it's for the reasons that that a lot of people think. Um, but I do believe that they are trying to make him look a little more relatable and and uh, and absolutely trying to make him seem more likable. But also Polyev has not been the kind of guy who you look at and think, that that's that's what I that's what, how I envision our next prime minister, and that is mm -hmm. something that they absolutely have to be considering right now. And it's interesting because when we put this question on Twitter, we got some criticism for it. And you know what? This is really sort of talking about the style and the substance. But take a look about what people uh, are saying here. So the question is, could this improve Polyev's electability? Remarkably, 76.3% say no, 23.7% say yes. Uh, and, and I guess before going to you, Dan, in terms of sort of looking at this sort of preferred prime minister uh, numbers, uh, because those do exist. Uh, Nick Nanos has been putting together some of those numbers uh, with Nanos Research. And if you just take a look at this for a moment, Justin Trudeau right now at 26.8%. He's up 2.5%. That was pre-beard, obviously, uh, or I should say post-beard. 26.6%. Polyev is actually down 2%. Jugmeet Singh is up just um, nearly um, half a percentage point in that. So when you consider all of this, um, you know, is this a response to it, do you think? Oh, it absolutely Isn't is. It? Oh, sorry, Dan, you go first. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, you're asking if it's, a, if it's a response to those numbers? Um, yeah. Well, well the, the question is, I, I mean, um, uh, I've kind of lost my train of thought a little bit, but I'm, I'm, I'm back to the, to the same tack, that it all, it all comes down to who those 23% 
who say he does look prime ministerial, who those 23% are. But I'm also concerned that, that while I don't think he'll succeed in pulling the wool over a Canadian's eyes in the grand scheme of things, how is this going to look to those of his supporters who expected him to stay the way he was before, not to soften mm -hmm. his tone by any stretch? How's that going to affect those numbers? Deirdre, talk to me a little bit about how politicians try and maybe sort of not be a chameleon, but definitely try and shift what they look like, definitely try and sort of either soften uh, how they are. I mean, you know, a lot of people on Parliament Hill remember that Stephen Harper, you know, almost didn't change in the 10 years uh, that he was on Parliament Hill. He had the same type of haircut, put some glasses on, looked a little more fatherly at one point in time, took the glasses off, uh, depending on where he was on the world stage. What What's behind that? Well, so fun fact with the glasses and Stephen Harper, I did reach out to someone who worked with, with Mr. Harper at that point in time, and the glasses were specifically because he couldn't see. So that had nothing to do with <laughs> the image, but the blue sweater was a very... Uh, was a very conscious decision, and they did it because of how he looked in that particular um, outfit. So, mm -hmm. they're, like, image, image is huge. It's, um, you know, people say that, that politics is, uh, it's the celebrity of people who can't be celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I was really diplomatic there. Um, but, yeah. it's, but, but politics is the same sort of thing, right? Your image matters. And if people can't see you as running the country, that is a huge problem for, for your party. Mm -hmm. Because as much as we want to believe that people look at policy and people make decisions based on really important things, they don't. They actually make decisions based on horribly superficial things. And the way that Polyev looks, the way that he talks, uh, what he says, and that's their problem. But, um, but those things really do matter. And so it's, it is an unfortunate uh, part of politics, but image, image is important. And, and Dan, it's interesting because, you know, I think back to 2011 where Jack Layton had that orange wave going over Quebec and a lot of people said he, you know, just looks like a, a good guy, somebody that I'd have a beer with. Um, and so I think that plays into it. But I really wanted to go back onto that um, thing that you had sort of started on in your opening argument, that you think that Polyev is trying to look like Trudeau. Um, flesh that one out for me because I'm pretty sure that he would rebuff that. <laughs> yeah, that was more of a joke than anything because he's, you know, he's changed the way he combed his hair. He's wearing the T-shirts. He's trying to become the everyman. Um, and, you know, but as, as you pointed out off the top, you know, Trudeau did that quite a few times. Um, but you kind of, you, it's okay with Trudeau for some reason. With a, with a, a politician like Pierre Polyev, you, you need him as a conservative to, 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 what's the expression, stay on message. You need him to keep that look. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and, they, you know, the, as, as Deirdre mentioned with, uh, with Stephen Harper, uh, I also remember how there was one, there was, uh, the camera picked him up, dropping his kids off at school, and then shaking hands with his kids before saying goodbye. <laughs> and then a little while later, they finally got him on film, giving them this perfunctory hug. But he had to mm -hmm. still retain his image as a conservative politician. And I think that Poiliev trying to be something he's not, not just trying to look like he's something he's not, but trying to be something he's not, is, uh, is going to backfire on him pretty soon, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Deirdre, uh, just in our, our last moment here, what do you think of how Dan is sort of saying that somehow Trudeau, not to say gets away with it, but it's okay no matter what he does, um, and I wouldn't say no matter um, you know, how he sort of uh, comports himself, but that he can sort of pull off the, and again, there's the haircut that I don't know that anybody really thought was a good <laughs> idea last summer. But anyways, uh, but do you think that we do give Justin Trudeau a bit more slack in that? Oh, I mean, we we possibly do, but it's for different reasons, I think. Um, you know, Trudeau has a much more laid back style, just generally, like mm -hmm. his personality seems like he is more laid back and he is more comfortable, you know, in, in jeans and a t-shirt kind of, kind of setup. Whereas Polyev has, I mean, he basically came into politics as, as, um, 
an adolescent almost. Uh, not at well, yeah. Like he's been he's been sporting this look since high school. So it's it's difficult to see him in another um, in a different way. And I think too that one of the problems that they have is that the the glasses, the the you know hipster nerd is is really where he could go, but he can't because mm-hmm. he's the leader of the Conservative Party of Canada. Yeah, and it's interesting, just before we uh, go, because we have to close this one off, take a look about these likability um, ratings that uh, have also been done by another polling firm, uh, Abacus Data. Since he became the, letter, the leader of the Federal Conservative Party, the impressions, I should say, of Pierre Polyev, his negatives, people, 40% of people have a negative impression of him, 32% of people have a positive impression of him. Those are actually both on the upswing, which is interesting. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll come back to this one during our closing arguments as always in between then and now don't forget go on our twitter page you can have your say there at ctv the debate make sure that if you leave a comment keep it respectful please okay short break for us now coming up a gender reveal fail a recent party in bc started a brush fire has this trend finally gone too far our debaters are going to reveal their answers on that right after this